We're doing our um, monarch tagging demonstrations right now. Now the first thing I'm going to write is whether it's a male or a female. Is that a male or a female? Right, because it's got the scent gland in the middle of the hind wing. Very proud. Okay, and then I'm going to check the abdomen, give it a little squeeze on a scale of one. Yeah, you're good. That's a four. <laughs> <laughs> now, now. Okay, and this is going to be 162606103, and the time is 1445. Go right ahead. Um, and now I'm going to rub some scales away so the sticker will stick. One thing I didn't mention is another good use for scales is to get the heck out of a spider's way. Or you know, when you were a little kid, did you try to grab a moth or anything? It slipped right between your fingers. So there is the, the tag with the number. So I'm going to measure the weight. <laughs> we don't. Now you want to let go? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's take it out here. So I want to open your other hand and see if it puts its leg, let it put its legs down first. All right, another cooperative one. <laughs> so what is it going to do now? <laughs> it's going to get a feel for, uh, well, if it's captive or not. <laughs> and whenever, oh, there it goes. <laughs> The Monarch Monitoring Project uh, starts on September 1st and goes through October 31st every year. And we are in the field working every day during that period of time. We do tagging demonstrations in the middle of September through the middle of October. We love to teach people everything there is to know about monarchs and uh, how to attract monarchs to your garden.